everyone this is Julie Murphy and we are on the second part of our video of doing a line emblem fill so in the first video we did the M the diamond and the circle in the second video we're actually going to be going into the design center to give this area in here a diamond fill so let's move over to the screen so here we are at the screen and we have a couple of choices. We can go into embroidery and go into my design center here, or we can just tap my design center. So we have a scan button, a line scan, or an illustration. Since the embroidery we have done so far is a line, we're gonna use our line scan. We'll choose scan. I'm gonna move you back over to the machine so you can see what happens as it starts to scan. So now we're back at our screen and we are going to actually adjust our red arrows. We want to get close but not too close. And this just helps drop out any of the background noise. And we'll answer OK. And we will set it. And now, what we have here, if we actually just went and stitched, it would restitch out our M, our diamond, and our circle again. So, what we can do here is remember this button is our background and this is this can take out our background so let me show you how that is so you can see right now we can actually we're all the way to the right and if we left it like it is now when we add our fill it's going to redo our design as well so let me go move back just a little bit so the first thing we want to do is go into our line property area we have a line property and a regions property for this video, we need to start out using our line property. So we'll choose our notepad. So we want to ask it not to stitch. So we'll choose no stitch, okay. And right now it is the pencil selected. We actually want to choose the bucket in the line property area. And once we choose that bucket, we're gonna touch right here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. We want to actually touch the line, and you'll see it turn from black to a light gray. So we've gotten rid of that stitch line, that stitch line, and the M. So let me zoom back out. Okay. The next thing we want to do is go into our regions property, and we're going to choose our notepad. And we can do a fill stitch or a stipple. This time we want to choose a design fill. So we'll select. And since we already have a diamond in our design, I'm going to choose the diamond fill. And say OK. And let's go ahead and give it a color. I think I'll choose a blue color. And say OK. And remember, just because I told it to stitch in blue doesn't mean that's going to be our thread color. That's just to differentiate from what we have on the screen. So the next thing we want to do is now that we have our blue diamonds in our regions area, we don't really want to do a paintbrush because let me just show you what that does. That just kind of does that. And we don't really want that. So we can undo what we just did by doing our undo arrow and it removes the last thing we did. Instead, we want to choose our bucket and we will touch between the diamond and the circle. And there we go. Okay, let's go to the next screen. Now in this screen, our diamonds are at 100% with zero degrees and our outline is on. What we want to choose, we wanna make our diamonds a little bit smaller. So we're gonna go down to 90%. And we will set that. And then 
I don't really want to have a degree, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it would look like. So right now it's at zero degrees. Let's make it go to 30. And set. And I definitely don't want the outline on. If we left the outline on, it would end up stitching our diamond and our circle again. So let's turn that off and we will set. And now we want to preview what it looks like at 30 degrees. Say okay. And that, can you see that? Let me zoom out. I really don't want my diamonds going that direction. So let's go back. And we'll hit return. And what we're gonna do is take our diamonds, our angle back to zero degrees. And we will set, and we will preview. And there are our diamonds. Let me zoom in for you. And I'm pretty happy with that. And if we're happy with that, and we don't want to make any other changes, um, we're ready to set it and start stitching. Now let me go ahead and show you, Now I'm sure some of you are wondering, okay, well why is the circle, the diamond, the M still there? Remember, down here we can control how much of our background that we can actually see. If we, the one that has the light flower with the dark green lets us know that we can take the background out and only see our stitches. So let's do that. And you'll see there is our, what is actually going to stitch out. If I move to the left, which has the dark flower with the light green, it removes our stitches and darkens our background. So let's, let's just put it in the middle. These controls down here don't actually change the stitch line or the background. It's just a viewing uh, whether you wanna see the background more or the stitching more. So let's move to the next screen. Once we hit set, we can't go back and change anything. If we want to save it at this point, we can put it in the pocket and we can still come back to it. So let's hit set. We'll say okay. Now we're on our embroidery screen and we're ready to stitch. So we will press embroidery down here. We're ready to embroider it, so we're gonna move over to our embroidery. And you can see we have a red button and if we lower our presser foot, it turns green and we're ready to stitch. And there we go. That is our letter, our diamond, our circle, and then we have our diamond fill. In part three, we're going to actually do a video that puts boundary points in to let the machine know where to do our stippling. Thanks for watching.